Now, let's turn to the supply side of the demand and supply model. And we are going to go ahead and have some of the same concepts as we had in demand, but we're going to change the word to supply. <clears throat> so, the quantity supplied is the amount that sellers are willing and able to sell under current market conditions. That would include the cost of their inputs, the price that they're being offered, and all sorts of other things. The law of supply is the idea that all else equal, when the price of a good rises, sellers will be willing to sell more, or more formally, quantity supplied rises. And a supply schedule is a table depicting the relationship between the price of a good and the amount supplied. We then usually turn that into a picture by drawing a supply curve. So that's going to be a curve or graph depicting the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity supplied. And the same sorts of things that we talked about with demand apply with a supply. So we usually think of price as the independent variable that determines the amount that sellers are willing to sell. However, because of historical tradition, just like with demand, price goes on the vertical axis. Notice that whereas the law of demand indicated that the demand curve should slope down because price and the amount that people want to buy are inversely related, the law of supply indicates that the supply curve should slope up because sellers are willing to sell more if they can get a higher price. And sort of if you think about what it would mean for those curves to slope the other way around, you can see that things would be pretty crazy. An upward sloping demand curve would imply that as you raise the price, people want to buy more. A downward sloping de supply curve would imply that as you lower the price, sellers offer you more than they did at a higher price. So, as an example of the supply schedule and the supply curve, here's our supplier, here's the amount, here's a series of prices, and here's the amount he's willing to sell at those different prices. And we can see that as price increases, we're moving up and to the right along a fixed supply curve. So again, the upward slope of the supply curve is a graphic depiction of the law of supply. And you should be able to keep the slope of the demand curve and supply curve straight by remembering that demand starts with D, so it should have a downward slope. And supply has the word up in it, so it should have an upward slope. Here's a review question on that, and hopefully that will lock it down in everyone's memory. And here are a couple more review questions that are a little bit trickier, so you'd want to go back a couple of slides and look at those. <clears throat> 